thank the Colonial Early Education Program here in Colwick Center for, for hosting us tonight. You know, uh, I just met Sarah Johnson. I thought I saw Sarah somewhere in here, but she has a, uh, her three-year-old son, Noah, who's a student here. As many of you know, I was a single parent for five years after my wife and daughter were killed and my two boys were badly injured. Even though I had a lot more support than a lot of people going through the tough times today, it was hard. It was hard. If I didn't have my mom, my sister, or my brother, I don't know how I've been able to afford it. Then, six years later, when Jill and I got married, I saw how difficult it was for her to start her teaching career while being a new mom with two kids in school. We cared. Well, actually, they weren't in school yet, now that I think about it. We cared for our parents at the end. My dad was months in hospice in our home, same as my mom. And our entire family was there for our son, Bo, when he came home from a year in Iraq with a cancer that wasn't whether he'd live, it's just how long he would live. We know what it's like. Months upon months. We know so many of you are going through the same thing without the kind of help I had. But now, everything, everything feels different. There's just that feeling, that sense, where you just don't know if everything's going to turn out okay. But I'm here to tell you that it can be and that it will be. You know, my dad was an honorable, decent man. His great regret, he never got to go to college. My dad, like many of your parents, got knocked down a few times. But he always got back up. He worked hard to build a great middle-class life for our family in Mayfield and Claymont. But he used to have a saying. He'd say, Joey, I don't expect the government to solve my problems but I sure in hell expect them to understand my problem. I understand to my very core, and I also know that together we can do this. This is America. We don't settle. We aspire and we succeed. So let's get the hell heck up and get it done. Let's get to work. As I go out of my grandpa, you've heard me say this many times, go out of my grandpa's house up in Scranton when dad lost his job where we lived with my grandpa. Every time we'd walk out of the house, he'd yell, Joey, keep the faith. And my grandma would yell, no, Joey, spread it. Let's go spread the faith. We can do this. There's not a single thing we cannot do. Thank you for listening. I look forward to having your questions at another time, but I'm off to another event. Thank you, Principal. Thank you for having us here. Appreciate it very, very much. Thank you, Senator.